Good morning, my collective. This is Renee, and welcome back. Spirit is leading me to send a message, right? And I'm feeling like this message is for my feminines. This message is for you. This. In a way, it's from your masculines, but this more has to do with you, my feminines. And <laughs> I could not go to sleep. And if any of you know, I work all night at my nine to five. Work the grave shift. And... Spirit just would not let me go to sleep. He would not let me rest. Telling me I needed to get this message out. So. Spirit. What message do we have for our feminines? What message do we have, please? One more shuffle. All right, card just fell on the floor. Okay. Hmm, Knight of Swords. Yeah. Okay, thank you, Spirit. Sometimes you have to be willing to bend the rules a little. Oh, Knight of Wands. I needed to put on my glasses. Not a wands. Hmm. Bend the rules a little. King of Swords on the bottom. We can all learn important things from one another. Yes. Okay. Feminines, my beautiful collective, I feel like you've gone through so much healing. Well, okay, okay, spirit, I hear you. You've gone through so much healing. Yeah. You've gone through so much doubt lately. You're not... You're not seeing the true picture, my beautiful feminines. You're not seeing the true picture. Wake up. What is it that you truly want? Okay. I, I feel like, feminines, you need to make a decision. But I feel like, you know, the masculines, your masculine is bringing a lot of doubt. They're projecting a lot. The reason why you've been feeling so, so doubtful, like you're unworthy, <laughs> like you're second guessing yourself. Um, your masculine, the person, the person in, in your energy, whether it be female or male, but the person in your energy is projecting that, those insecurities, onto you. It's a mirror, right? They're projecting all of their insecurities. The feelings of not being enough. The feelings of not being worthy, not being pretty enough, not being handsome enough. Not being um, what they are looking for, you know, or... You know, just simply not having enough of something, right? And I feel like your masculine is projecting this energy onto you. And it's making you very indecisive. It's making you really second guess yourself. That's the reason why you're feeling this energy, right? Um, 
Spirit wants you to know, King of Wands energy, shine your inner candlelight bright enough for others to follow, right? And I believe my feminines, my collective, you've done so much work. You have gained so much understanding and you need to shine your light. Shine that brightness that's within you, right? Um, Spirit is letting you know that all of these things that you're feeling at the moment are just a projection. They're a projection of the insecurities within your person not within you, okay? This nine of swords energy, this fear and this doubt, we all get a bit carried away with our worries sometimes. Spirit don't want us to worry. The Holy Spirit does not want us to worry. They want us to live our life, live our best lives. You know, this is a time of abundance for our, our feminines, and all the things that you've been through, all the things that you've gone through, you're going to be rewarded for, right? And if, if, you're, if you're not aware, take a look at that last reading that I did for Divine Feminine. You know, um, Spirit gave a really good message and really, really thoughtful message that really hit home even for myself. You know, and, and I feel like spirit is giving you reassurance that feminine, you're right where you need to be. There's no need to fear any fears or doubts or insecurities that you have at this moment. You have because that's a projection. That's a projection. Okay. We have the three of wands. Put yourself out there and you'll be rewarded one way or another. Your rewards are coming, my divine. The divine is rewarding you for all of the things that you've been through. No one knows what you've been through but you. And that pain was real. That healing was hard, right? And Spirit is letting you know that this is your time. This is your time, feminine. So hang in there. All these feelings that you're feeling at the moment are not yours. They're not yours. Okay? Another message, Spirit. Give me another message from my feminine. Okay. They keep popping out. Judgment. Yeah. All the signs say that you're exactly where you're supposed to be. What did I say? You're exactly where you're supposed to be at the moment. And spirit is just confirming that. That all the things that you've done, all the things that you have been through to heal have been hard as hell. Have been, but in the long run, they've been so worth it. Because you're in a different place. You're a different person than you were last year. Even a month ago, you're a different person. And feminine, you need to celebrate that. Celebrate your triumphs because that's a huge triumph. Doing inner work, healing, ah, oh, baby, that that is that's something that is just incredible. Three of Cups come together with your coven. And I feel like Spirit is letting you know to find your support. Find your support wherever you can. If it's with your friends, with your family, with loved ones, with, you know, people you know who care about you. Right? People who care about your well-being. And just go out and have fun. Enjoy yourself. Find new ways to make yourself happy because it's all about you. It's all about you. We have the seven of wands, which is should hold 
other witches accountable. And I feel like spirit is also letting you know to be wary of people who are fake, people who are not true, people. And, and I think that with all the healing that you've done, I feel like you see through people. You see right through them. You see what their intentions are. You see who they really are. And that just that just doesn't go for just your masculine. Your masculine or your counterpart, I should say, whether that's female or male. But your counterpart, I feel like you see them whether they're wearing a mask or not. You see who they really are. And that goes for other people as well. You can see through people's intentions. You just have to be observant. You have to notice things. And feminine, you will see exactly who someone is because they'll show you. They'll show you who, who they really are. You just have to notice it. Spirit, give me more messages from my feminine. What, do, what else does my feminine need, need to know at this moment, please? What does my feminine need, need to know? <laughs> and I'm starting to stutter, and I don't stutter. I don't stutter unless I'm very, very excited, right? We have the Four of Pentacles. Treat yourself to something shiny every now and again. Yeah. Feminine, pamper yourself. This is a time for you. This is a time to find out what exactly you want. What exactly you like. Start a new hobby. Or just do something that you love to do. And... Don't worry about what anybody else thinks about it. Nobody else matters but you. It's time to put yourself first. Make yourself the priority. Make yourself the number one person in your life. Because you're important. You can't show up for anybody else until you show up for you. Right? We have the Five of Swords. You can't be right all the time. You know? And I feel like what that's speaking on is the insecurities that you speak to yourself. The things that you say to yourself. The things that you would admit to to yourself. You know that harmful self-speak and sometimes that can be a curse that can be something that's projected on you and I, I i feel like spirit is saying that you need to meditate on these things to remove these things from your life right remove that self-speak Remove all those harmful things that someone said to you that you're holding on to unconsciously and unintentionally. You know, you need to let these things go and not dwell on them any longer. It's time to just let them go. And if you, if you feel the need, like I said, meditation is so helpful in removing these negative things from my life. I have meditations in my, um, on my page for return to sender and removing negative energies. So if you feel the need, not that you have to, but if you feel the need, try the meditation. That could be very helpful. It's time to remove the negativity, feminine, because that's only doing harm to your journey. It's only holding you back from your goal. And it's time to move away from that. Okay. We have temperance. Let go of self-imposed limitations. I love you, spirit. Thank you so much. What? I'm not, I don't have to say anything else. Spirit has just confirmed everything that I just said. 
you know, it's time to heal. It's time to have patience with yourself. To really celebrate all of the things that you've done for yourself through this journey. All the healing, all the tears, all the agonizing pain that you've been through. It's time to let go of it all. It's time to let it go. No more holding on to it. No more dwelling back on it. Once you let it go, let it go. And remove those limitations that are holding you back. Because they are limitations. And they are holding you back from your goal. Thank you, Spirit. One more message, please. What else does my feminine need to know? What else does my feminine need to know, Holy Spirit? The Queen of Pentacles. There's no need to sacrifice. You can have it all. Ask, and the door will be open. Let Spirit know, God, source the universe let them know what it is that you want make a list make a list set your intentions and there's no need to sacrifice anything from your list make your list complete because spirit wants to deliver that and so much more, right? Spirit is letting you know that you will be rewarded. Queen of Pentacles, you are God's Queen of Pentacles. You are so worthy, so abundant. And He wants all of your needs met. The universe wants all of your needs met. All of them. You just have to believe and have faith. You have to believe that when you knock, the door shall be opened, right? Ask and it will be given. The Six of Swords, all aboard. <laughs> It's time to write a new chapter. It's time to move ahead. It's time to move forward. And I feel like this message is definitely for my feminines because it's time to move past all, you, all of your pain. Move past all of your pain and move forward into your future. This is a new chapter for you. Spirit is opening up a new door just for you. And that door is going to look differently for each and every one of you. At the bottom, we have the Seven of Pentacles. Nurture what you have and see how it grows and grows. Right? The Spirit is letting you know to be grateful for everything that you have. And everything that you want and need will be increased. Because everything that you have, you're grateful for. So everything that you have will be multiplied. Because of that gratefulness. That open heart. That joyful spirit. That's what he wants to see. That's what she wants to see. Gaia, you know. Uh, God, source, the universe, whatever it is you believe in, hold true to that source, right? And lead with love because love is the greatest gift. And being grateful is another form of love, right? And the universe, spirit sees that. Okay, that is what I have for you, my beautiful feminine. 
And now maybe since I delivered this message, now maybe I'll be able to go to sleep. So thank you so much for watching. And if this reading resonates, please like and subscribe. And hit that bell for new readings. And like I said, take a look at that, at that reading I posted. I think it was two days ago. Divine Feminine. Um, I believe it was like something like your rewards are coming in fast. Abundance. Abundance is coming in fast. I think that's what it was. Take a look. Spirit is ha, has a very deep message in there as well. Many blessings to you, my, my beautiful feminines, and love and light.